How to cross a river full of piranha fish The infamous piranha fish are also known as the wolves of the water due to their skittish nature. They are commonly found in South America, so you won't encounter them anywhere else in the world. The piranha fish lives in fresh water, usually in warm float plains and slow-moving rivers. They can survive in cold water and usually die. The good thing about piranhas is that they don't attack humans unless they are starving and have food scarce. The diet of the piranha fish is mostly insects, small fish, and worms. All the cases of piranhas attacking humans are rare. It only takes mere seconds for 300 to 400 piranha to devour and rip apart a healthy human or an animal. So is it possible for a person to cross a river full of piranha fish without getting devoured by them? The answer would be yes. But before diving in, keep in mind some facts so that you can easily manipulate piranha and save yourself from becoming a feast for them. It is known that the sense of smell of piranha fish is very sharp. So if you have any open wound, bandage it before crossing the river. The chances of getting attacked by piranhas are high if they smell your blood. They can reach you in seconds as they are intrigued by human blood. Choose a spot to cross a river where fish are cleaned or that's far away from fishing nets. So know your territory before getting into it. Piranhas become more threatening in areas where they are habituated to feeding, so it's better to stay away from that area. They happen to bite and stab everything they find around them when feeding. Do not cross the river in the daytime as it is the time of feeding for piranha fish and they stay alert the most. It is advised to cross the river at night since every species of piranha sleeps at this time and will swim away rather than attack if disturbed. Do not cross the river in the dry months, normally from April to September in South America. If you are unsure of what season it is, you can ask about the local residents before crossing a river. If you are unable to cross a river by boat and swim instead, try to be careful and stay quiet. Piranhas are as alert to unusual activity as they are to blood. You will be in life danger like a weak and bounded animal in its final movements. If you splash too much in a river full of piranhas, don't talk and use flashlights or lanterns. Create a diversion if you have any cause to assume that you will be attacked by the piranha fish. Take a large chunk of raw meat and throw it in the direction of your target. Remember that a hungry piranha pig may devour a cadaver in a matter of seconds. So use this option of diversion very wisely. As rapid as can, go across and out of the river. If you are thinking to spend your summer vacation in South America and you have to cross a river of fresh water, then keep in mind the above mentioned facts. Piranha fish rarely attack humans and only attack when they are starving or protecting their eggs. If you won't come in their way, they'll leave you alone too. And when you cross the river, do take a rest under the shelter of the tree. And while resting, if you see ants on your toe, then be alert as they could be bullet ants famous for their painful sting. So what to do if you had an encounter with bullet ants? Don't worry. We will let you know in the next video. Until then, do like the video and subscribe the channel.